Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. The Nice Guys is a stylish, super cool, groovy, and thoroughly enjoyable romp through 70s Hollywood that just gets better as it goes along. Equal parts Chinatown and Boogie Nights by way of the Big Lebowski, this buddy action comedy finds a way to stay simultaneously fresh and retro while it spins an interesting mystery story which includes a deep roster of indelible characters. Hey, everyone who complains about summer being full of comic book movies, reboots, sequels, or adaptations, listen up! The Nice Guys is the one you're looking for. A well-executed, original, standalone movie for adults with plenty of laughs, thrills, and surprises. So quit your sniveling whining and get your butt to the multiplex for The Nice Guys. That's it for the capsule review. Now let's get in depth. Writer-director Shane Black either invented the buddy cop genre or perfected it, depending on who you talk to, with his script for Lethal Weapon in 1987. He made his directorial debut in 2005 with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which if you haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang yet, get off your butt and get on that too. It showcases his particular brand of smart, alecky, edgy action comedy and really set off the screen comeback of Robert Downey Jr., which culminated in Iron Man and yeah. So we all have Shane Black to thank for that. Incidentally, Downey did thank Shane Black for that, by getting him the gig writing and directing Iron Man 3. And here endeth the history lesson. Now, Shane Black is back in that whip-smart action comedy mode with the nice guys, and he's created another great cinematic pairing of Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling as two bumbling tough guys investigating a missing girl, several murders, and a conspiracy involving the Detroit auto industry and the mob. And unlike most action comedies about people investigating a mystery, the actual mystery is interesting and the clues themselves are delivered organically and it's kind of fun to figure out the story right along with the characters. And those characters are the movie's main strong point. Russell Crowe plays a great straight man. You seen this girl? Who's in it for me? Oh, we can do this the easy way. No! We're currently doing it the easy way. And Ryan Gosling chews up his role with relish, playing a hard-drinking single parent who also happens to be simultaneously the most intuitive and most hapless detective in the world. Here's a guy who can put together pieces of a multi-layered conspiracy before anyone else, but who also lacks a sense of smell, drinks way too much while on the job and undercover, and early in the film gets stopped in his attempts to break into a place for clues when he cuts his hand breaking a window and has to get rushed to the hospital. You're a private investigator? My profession is very complicated, okay? It's nuanced. That is a lot, of, that's a lot of blood. I loved every minute with him on screen, especially his relationship with Crow and with his daughter. There hasn't been a character with this much competence masked by drunken swagger and ineptitude since Captain Jack Sparrow. And Ryan Gosling absolutely nails it. I also quite enjoyed the look of the film with the late 70s aesthetic clearly obtained through some clever CG work like the kind that appeared in Zodiac. I felt transported back to that time and while it wasn't necessary that this movie be period at all, the fact that it is lends itself to the movie's unique feel and vibe. And there is a definite vibe, people. One of the best things about The Nice Guys is the way that it zips from scene to scene with a natural, constant groove, even in slower scenes, that propels the story forward in a way that I haven't seen since the first Ocean's Eleven movie. This movie is as well constructed as Ocean's Eleven as well. The character quirks, the clues, the joke setups and payoffs, everything is done economically and organically to the plot. Every bit of information that you get in the film is either a clue to the mystery, a setup for a later joke, or foreshadowing for a revelation of character later. There is one major set piece in the middle of the film set at a wild Hollywood Hills party. Dad, there's like whores here and stuff. Sweetheart, how many times have I told you don't say and stuff? Just say, Dad, there are whores here. That involves about half a dozen major characters, revelations of clues to the central mystery, detours into whimsical comedy, a fight scene, and a car chase. 
and it all unfolds naturally, buoyantly zipping through the colorful rooms populated with flamboyantly dressed weirdos, while each character and plot line wraps into and around the other. You may not even notice all the things that the movie is doing during this scene, and that's really the sign of some solid economic storytelling. You get drunk, you lose your gun, you take your header off the balcony. It was very slippery up there, okay? I was, I was in the pool. You were in the pool? Yeah. Why? I had to question the mermaids. The Nice Guys is a confident and bold crowd pleaser. The kind of comedy that isn't afraid to get violent. The kind of action movie that isn't afraid to kill characters that you wouldn't expect to die. And the kind of mystery that isn't afraid to be fun. It's irreverent. It's slick. It's stylish. It's weird. And in terms of sheer cool, it's the coolest movie of the year. So where do these nice guys finish? With an extra large bag of popcorn, that's where. I love every minute spent in the company of these nice guys, and I can't wait to see it again. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop, and click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, click subscribe, so you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep doing what we do. Please leave your comments below and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I always finish last. All right.